吸收情报。Hello, guys, welcome to the video once again. Smooth Razor here. Today, we're going to be talking about tips versus Doc Orson. As we all know, those moments whereby the opponent twitches their block to avoid a slow mid, a grab, a shimmy, or a high. And when you go for a grab, this happens. So how this video is going to go, first I'm going to talk about what is Duck OS and how it works. Then I'm going to move on to the 6 counters to Duck OS. Then finally the 4 common situations whereby Duck OS is used and how to apply these counters in those situations. So now let's get into the fun part. Hello guys, so now as you can see, we're going to talk about Duck OS, right? Duck Orson is a way of defending whereby you cover a throw, a slow mid, a high string and a shimmy attempt into a mid. So now how this goes, you twitch the block a little bit just for a little while. The aim of twitching the block is to guard against a turn frame throw and why this also covers a high string is that the first button of a string is a high because of course it's a um, high starting string so if you have this a seven frame startup the mid actually comes out um, nine frames after the seven frames so technically the mid in this string is a 16 frame mid meaning so if you twitch your block to defend against the 10 frame throw you're going to at the same time also defend against the 16 frame mid in this string and against slow mids for instance Cindel's forward four comes comes out in 14 frames so twitching a block to defend against a 10 frame throw is going to cover this string and the slow um 14 frame mid it's also going to cover a walk up shimmy attempt you're going to see a clip an example of these so for instance um let's record scorpion real quick to so do for instance scorpion does a dash up um one one it's going to look like this right so a dark osi is just going to release block for a little while so also option select a 10 frame throw as you can see scorpion's um second button in this string comes out in 13 frames so by that and the first hit comes out in seven frames so technically the mid in this string is a 20 frame mid so that allows me to twitch the block as he approaches because the actual mid in this in one one is actually um 20 frames at the same time if he was to do a walk up grab I'm still gonna twitch the block and and if you was to do a fourth a walk up four three four three is um 13 frames and my option select of um twitching the block is to cover the 10 frame grab so as you can see I release block for a while but he is coming in to do um a 13 frame mid so with practice you can usually um use dock OS against 13 frame mids 12 frame mids um, you can also use Duck OS against 11 frame mids, but you only have um, a 1 frame um, window, so against 11 frame mids, it's really really hard. So now let's get into the short clips.
the six counters to dump boys. The first thing I have on my list are overheads. These include shut offs. Overheads are really effective against dock OSs because why dock OS is usually done docking and in general it makes it harder to react to an overhead because you are, you are focused on your dock OSs. So a lot of shot hops, especially the quicker shot hops, are gonna clip you a lot more if you're someone that's always dock OSing. And general character specific overheads like Sub Zero's 402, Cinder's 402, and so forth, are really do really well against dock OSs, especially if you miss it with their lows. Because while trying to block, um, while trying to dock OS, blocking mixes is a lot harder. So if you add overheads shot hops to your game plan. It's gonna really make it hard to dock OS, and most times the opponents are gonna stop dock OSing and start trying to react to your mix instead. The second thing on my list are the mid common grabs. This is a really strong option against opponents that like to dock OS because mid common grabs can only be evaded in MK11 by jumping. So this is going to catch people trying to dock OS because it um, clips opponents um, even though they are blocking or docking. So this is a really strong one. The third thing on my list are fast mids. Fast mids ranging from 9 to 11 frames, although 9 to 10 frames are, is the safest, are very good to counter dog OSing because it helps you to play the um, the throw strike mind game that is actually legit because the opponent cannot dock a fast mid, so they are actually forced to guess between a mid or a throw. So now we're on to number 4 which are pokes. Pokes are really helpful and really important so I'll get into it in a sec. Now pokes, if you do not, if you do not have a fast mid like Johnny Cage and you don't want to risk the shot hops and other things I'll show in this video, here's how pokes are really effective. Now we all know that fast mid clips um, people trying to dock ores, the same go for pokes. Now Johnny has a down 1 that's 7 frames. A down 3 that is 9 frames and a down 4 that is 8 frames. So if an opponent is trying to dock OS um, consistently, it means that pokes are going to clip them a lot. For instance, I do a dash in um, down 1. If the opponent is trying to um, use a dock OS, so option select my 1 to 4, my um, dash up throw. So a dash up down 1 is going to catch them trying to dock OS. The same goes for a dash up down 3 and a dash up down 4. What that means is that Usually when you land a poke, even a character like Johnny Cage that um, isn't guaranteed a throw strike mind game because of Doc OS now has one. So for instance, you land a down one right and plus 11, I can jail a high. So the high becomes the tool that will be used as a strike and the grab. So if I land a down one, I go into, I jail it into one to right. You can't duck, um, you can't duck OS a jailed high. So they have to respect that. If they try to do the dog OS stuff, when hit with a down one into a jailed one two, they will get launched and maybe I can hit confirm that. If if they get hit by a down three, the same happens. A down three into a jailed one two. If they try to dock OS, they'll get launched. So what that means is that if you land a down one, you can go, you can go into your grab because why they want to respect um the one two that you can jail off it. It means that grabs can now go. So you do a dash in down one. If they get clipped, it's 
it opens room for the real throw strike mind game because now you're going to jail a strike or a throw. The same goes for staggers. Let's put Kizuna to block real quick. In a situation whereby you're staggering with Johnny, usually you do, uh, let's say, one, one, two. You know, Johnny does not have a fast mid, right? So that you do not have a time frame mid to clip them, trying to duck OS in between your staggers. So this is what you can do. You can do a four, three, a down one, or a one, two, down one. You have a chance of catching duck OS as with these. So by the time you land the poke, um, on them while trying to duck OS, then you go for either a throw or a jailed um, high into a launcher and this um, is available for all characters in MK11 so I do feel this is a really strong one and that's that, we'll move on to the next number and now move on to the fifth number which is the delayed grab the idea of a delayed grab is to grab when the opponent is done with their duck OS that is grab them the moment they go back um, into their block stance so you can do this by doing a dash up um, walk up a little then grab you can you can also do a back forward back forward movement into a grab you can also do a dash forward block then a grab so you will see the clips now And now the final number is specials. There are some specials with some unique properties. At times, some could act as a fast um, mid. Some specials could act as a delayed grab. Some could even act as a sort of um, mid command grab. So here are some examples of how specials can be used to fight on Duck OS. now we're in the final section of this video we're gonna, now we're going to talk about the four common situations whereby duck os is used the first one i have here is during neutral approaches this is whereby you and the opponents are playing the neutral and you try to go in to pressure them and then they do a duck os to cover your grab um your slow mid your grab and uh, and your shimmy attempts or your um high strings so now from the six previous things we've learned on how to counter the duck os now this is when you're gonna mix your stuffs up. You try the overheads, try the mid command grabs, and all those good stuffs. Now there are gonna be some short clips just showing how the six um, counters of lands can work in this situation.
The second common situation people like to duck OS is while being staggered. When an opponent notices a stagger, some players does um, those players that are really fond of dog oresting are going to take their hand off block for a little moment. The option select your high, um, grab and slow mid. So now that we know the 16s and after the clips we have just seen, uh, when you do a stagger on block, you can go for your overhead mix or shot hop. The, um, the shot hops work really well after a stagger if the stagger is a plus. You can go for your mid, co mid command grab that the character has that. You can go for a fast mid to clip them trying to dog ores. You can go for a poke. Staggers into pokes are really nice. Um, there's a high chance you could catch them trying to duck OS. Also, stagger into poke is really good to catch those trying to interrupt you in general. You can go for um, stagger into a delayed grab. Wait for them to finish the duck OS and then you grab them. And the unique specials like you've seen earlier. So now we're going to move on to number three. So now we're on to number three, which is after a string. When some opponents do strings, um, they wait a little bit before holding block. So it takes practice to do this, but when they have it down, um, they're going to be able to option select your slow meets, your high strings, your grabs, and um, your walk up meets with this. So if you apply um, the counters we have learned in this video, which there's going to be a short clip, and you're going to see the difference between um, the normal way of taking back a turn and applying the counters. So now let's get into that. Now we are on to the fourth and final number and this has to do with um, Dark OSN on hit. Now if you have, if you poke an opponent or you have landed hit on them and you, you do a delay walk into them, some players are really good at Dark OSN are going to notice this and um, do a Dark OS even though you landed the down one on them. Another situation that is a lot safer for them to do a Dark OS and it's efficient is when you land a hit that has a low um, hit advantage on them. For instance, you land a stray standing one. At times, it could be um, ranging between plus two to plus seven. So an opponent that knows this um, will probably duck OS while you're approaching. Same goes for projectile, another really good um, place to duck OS. At times, when you hit an opponent with some projectiles in this game, not all projectiles have a lot of hit advantage. So when you approach for, to a grab or for a standing high or so, you will notice that some opponents are going to duck OS. So if you hit someone with a projectile, beware that they might duck OS your grab and um, you might get punished by down to KB. So preferably use um, the counter options in short um, situations. The clip you're just going to see is some um, situations where an opponent can duck OS. But I'm not going to show the counters because I believe we have seen that a lot. And thank you for watching the video.
loving with grace. 